does it feel to get first three points? It's uh, it's a great feeling. Um, it's uh, it's something that uh, you know it, it's winning is a contagious feeling, and you know this group is is such a good group, and we've played well so far this season. But this was by far our best performance from the first minute to the ninety, whatever we played today, which felt like those three minutes felt like about seven or eight. But uh, so this it, it was. A good performance for us. It's a performance that we can build on. It's a character-building performance. And look, we got we got true, real warriors on this team. You, know, you see guys come in the locker room. There's blood everywhere. You know, you look at Tristan's head. He's, 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 what a cut that is. And he's a he he got back up and he gave the fans a salute. And you know, you talk about a uh, guy like Ryan Raposo, who's who's been around for a little bit now, and and he takes his opportunity. And and it takes a real warrior and I don't necessarily mean that in a physical sense but in a mental sense because when you don't start all the time when you don't get a ton of opportunities and when you're able to take your chance when it comes that takes a real warrior to do that um, I think we talk about the physical battles uh, almost every week and, and you know we calculate duels won but what we don't calculate is is the mental side of things and those are that's something that's uh, something that you can't quantify is somebody's mentality and this group's got a strong mentality Look, I'm not. I'm not going to say. You know, this is. <laughs> no player is made or broken in one game. So, Ryan's still got a ton of work to do, just like every every other person on this team. Because you can always get better. You can always, you can always learn. You can always grow. Um, but I, again, I want to go back to what I said earlier about Ryan, and that it takes a real strong personality to always fight through adversity, to keep coming to work every day, to do the hard work when no one's watching, to to be a good trainer uh, to push the squad and I think that's that's what he's done and, and he gets his his goal and you can see how happy he was and we're so happy for him and uh, he's such a good kid and he's such a good teammate he never complains he does the work and, and, and that's all you can ask somebody is, is to give 100% and he definitely does that and did you get an actual photo with that camera? I was trying my hardest but I think <laughs> I learned there that I'm not going to go into photography anytime soon because I, I, I couldn't figure it out <laughs> you talked a little bit about the last three minutes. It seemed like in the last about ten minutes or so, SKC really put that press on and uh, tried was really working for that equalizer. Can you talk about what it took from your side to really lock it down and and hold on to that lead? It took a group of warriors. It took a, a team that was resilient. It took a team that. Uh, put the team first before the individual and, and you saw a real team performance from the first minute to the 90 some odd and I think those minutes like you said in the last last 10 minutes when Kansas City they're, they're a fantastic team they have a fantastic coach and they have a fantastic way of playing and they're they're going to win a ton of games as they always do uh, and to hold them off uh, in our home to, to sing with our fans again uh, that's a performance that we can build on that's a character building performance not only for the individual, uh, but for the as a collective for the for the team and, and for the organization. Ryan, when he was here, he was talking a little bit about the sense of family that really exists right now with this year with uh, the group of guys that you have in the room. Can you talk a little bit about in the number of years that you've been with the team, kind of what that feels like today versus kind of year, you know last year, the year before? Like I think with each group uh, and the time that I've spent here it's been different families you know because i can't say that there hasn't been a sense of family here the my entire time uh as a vancouver whitecap because it, it has been you know i think about my first year and there was guys like john thorrington jay demerit real true leaders and then you go further you got to get the kenny millers you get the andy o'briens you get the nigel rio cokers sense of family and then you get you go into a different era with the pedro morales you know you go through the entire organization with the Kendall Waston there's always been a sense of family within this club and I think that's something that we pride ourselves on as being the Vancouver Whitecaps and the last year uh, I think was one of my favorite uh, teams to be a part of because we went through a lot as a group being away from home uh, being at the bottom of the table and really producing a miracle to, to go in and make the playoffs and uh Kansas City were the ones to knock us out, so it just makes it a little bit better uh, to, to get the result today. Um, 
but look, we got a whole lot of season left to play, and there is a truth as to you know to go off of what you asked and what Ryan said is this family has gone through a, a rocky start of the season, and we played games away from home, tough teams away from home, and there are a lot of people that count us out already, which you know people counted us out last year as well. And uh, we turned that around and, and, you know, we saw how special that was. So uh, there is a real sense of family in this locker room. Um, it's not going to take an 11, a starting 11 to go out and, and to make a playoffs again. It's going to take the entire group, and you see that today. Uh, and, again, I just want to say congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Thanks, guys.